So hi and welcome to this uh, Ag Communications webinar. Uh, I'm Bob Birch, if you don't know me, Web Technology Specialist. Um, we're going to talk today just a little bit about testing your web pages in mobile. Um, and we're going to be talking about your Ag CMS web pages. Um, we can talk a little bit more about about that as well. Um, we have a mobile template set up for, or mobile theme, I should say, set up uh, for any web page on Ag CMS so that it it fits a little bit better uh, in the in the smartphone screen. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. Uh, we can talk a little bit about, you know, maybe some some tips for making your web pages a little bit more uh, mobile uh, friendly. Um, and then we'll, of course, we'll, as always, take any questions that you have. Feel free to interrupt me, uh, drop your questions in the chat pod, uh, whatever you need to do. Um, so really, this this webinar is based off of uh, a Let's Communicate article that uh, that I put up, and I had it in my clipboard, and now uh, apparently I copied something else. So give me one second here, and I'll paste that into the chat. Um, on testing your your web pages for mobile, and as I say in that article, you know the the traffic on the web in general worldwide in the U.S. Um, has been moving more and more uh, to mobile. Um, in fact, it wasn't uh, uh, too long ago uh, global web traffic sort of crossed that 50% threshold. So that means there's more mobile traffic globally than there is um, than there is desktop traffic. Um, the United States is starting to get there. Um, in terms of when we look at our analytics uh, for NDSU extension and ag sites, um, where we trail a little bit behind that in terms of the, the percentages, uh, but the trend is the same. Our mobile traffic just keeps going up uh, year after year and almost month after month. It just keeps uh, getting to be more and more. So it's more important to to really look at our mobile, at our websites uh, in uh, a mobile environment. So let me share my screen and I'll show you how you can really quickly test that. Um, uh, it's really awesome that these tools, these kinds of tools, um, are present right within your web browsers. Um, at least when we talk about Chrome and Firefox. Uh, I'm gonna be working primarily in Firefox today. One of the reasons is that's where we edit our web pages, right? Egg CMS works best in Firefox. Um, and so, hope, you know, if you're thinking about your web pages, if you're working on your web pages, that maybe is where you are already is, is in Firefox. Um, the other reason is I've had a little bit of trouble getting this to work in Chrome, but it does work in Chrome. Uh, Roger has tested it. I think Sony has tested it. So it definitely works in Chrome. There's just something up with my cookies or my browser settings um, that are giving me a little bit of trouble with it. But I can show you how to do it in Chrome. It's just just probably not going to look uh, quite the quite the same when you see the web page displayed as mobile. It, it, it doesn't switch to the theme for me to the mobile theme. So before I confuse you any further by yakking away, um, let's go ahead and look at it. So I've got the um, what we sort of call the egg landing page up. Um, so this is what you get if you go to www.ag.ndsu.edu. And you could just as well be on your page, uh, whether you have a county page, like on your home page, or on any page inside of your county site or your topic area site or whatever kind of website that you have. Um, if it's on Ag CMS, it will have that mobile theme applied um, when the correct device is uh, is detected and so you know if you want to skip some of these steps like and you've probably done this yourself before um, one easy way to test it is just pull out your phone right go to your URL open a browser uh, on your phone go to your URL and just take a look at how it looks um, but if you don't want to pull out your phone and you want to uh, kind of experiment a little bit more uh, you can do it right in your browser so again I'm in Firefox um, if I right click just anywhere on this screen, as long as I'm not on a link or something like that, um, I hope you can see that there's a pop up there. Uh, let me know if, if we're not seeing that. Um, so you see save page as, view page source, etc. And if you go down here a little ways, uh, you'll see inspect element. And that's what we're going to do. Now when I click this, don't get scared. Um, it's going to look a little crazy. 
Um, when we click inspect element, it opens up a lot of tools that are really intended for web developers. Um, but in, embedded in those tools are, are a way for you to take a look at your page in mobile. Okay, so we're going to ignore all this code and all this stuff over here and look way over to the right over here and there's a series of icons and there's only one that we care about and that's the center one and when I mouse over it you should see the pop up there it says responsive design mode that's what I want um, to look for and then I just click on that and you'll see what happens uh, up here in the top all of a sudden now I'm looking in a, a much smaller window at my site sort of a smartphone sized window so that's really what we want to do so at this point I could go ahead and and close this developer tools to get it out of my way if I want to just with the X button down here and now here I am looking at uh, this in responsive design mode uh, right now what's displaying is how the site would look on a desktop computer so we need to actually select a device so that uh, egg CMS detects that this is a different device right it's sort of it's sort of uh, spoofing like it's a different device and then if if egg CMS detects hey this is a mobile device then it will change our our theme and our view so right up here where it says no device selected I'm gonna click the little arrows next to that and you'll see I've got a whole list here of different kinds of mobile devices smartphones and even some laptop views that I could I could check out so let's check out um, iPhone here so iPhone 6s is on here that's a smartphone size device uh, sure Sonia I can I can try and then Roger can chime in uh, for all the stuff that I, I get wrong um, basically the idea of responsive design is that um, for some sites uh, you have two kind of completely separate designs if you want to make it mobile friendly right so you um, you have a what your site looks like on desktop and you have what your site looks like in mobile and those are two completely separate things um, what responsive design is is designing uh, your site in a way so that it can uh, be sort of reformatted and adapted to each depending on which device is detected right um, so our sort of is responsive um, there are two separate themes but if, if it was really true responsive design we'd sort of have one theme uh, and that theme would be able to be uh, reconstituted either on a desktop size or on a, a smartphone size screen or even on a television size screen so it would just uh, respond and you wouldn't have to design it separately for every single device Roger you could say that was completely incorrect if you want because it may have been but are we good okay awesome all right um, so you can see when I when I chose on, on the screen sharing when I chose iPhone 6s now all of a sudden everything looks different right remember in in desktop we had navigation on the left and things were a little bit bigger we had the portlet what we call the portlet columns on each side um, and our mobile design is different um, obviously all that stuff wouldn't fit very well on a smartphone screen so instead what our mobile theme does is it um, prioritizes content and the content area uh, in egg CMS is that middle area it's not the uh, portlet columns on the left or right it's the middle area um, and the theory there is that that's what people want the content right they're here to get content so whatever you have in that content area on your screen that's what's going to be prioritized in the mobile view a um, couple things about this you'll see so the navigation is you know uh, looks like it's gone right um, it's actually condensed up here in what we call a hamburger menu those three lines kind of look like a hamburger that's why it's called a hamburger menu and so if I, I click up here now you can see my my navigation opens up right so that's just a that's just a space saving tool it's a way to consolidate that 
um, so it doesn't take up screen space and we can get to the content. When you're in here testing this, you can jump around, like you can follow the links. This is just like you're on the website, so if you wonder what a particular page looks like in here, I hope this works for us here, um, we can jump to that page and it's still in our mobile view, okay? Um, so we're on a 6S, you know, if you're really, this is going to give you uh, a general idea of what this would look like on a smartphone, you get a pretty good idea, um, you know, is the stuff that I want people to see, the stuff I want people to do prioritized and up there at the top, or, you know, because of the way we designed our page on desktop, thinking everybody would see the left and right portlet columns and have all this room, is that stuff, quote unquote, hidden, okay? Um, thanks, Sonia. So Sonia's saying in the chat that a lot of our mobile views do come from Apple products, iOS. Um, I just want to show here you can you can switch the device. So this is just a 6S, but we could go to the Plus, which is a little bit different screen size. It's a little bit wider, so you you can see that. And of course, there's there's Android devices on here as well. Um, the Galaxy S7 little bit smaller so you can test some different screen sizes if you want to do that but the main point here is really uh, to take a look at um, you know what it looks like on mobile so you have an idea of what the mobile theme is uh, Kim says will they have iPhone 8 and other advanced iPhones soon um, I think and I'm just guessing here but my guess is they're adding those those phones based on the screen size, right? So if it really has a different screen size, then they're likely to add that stuff. Um, I don't know how different iPhone 8 is than iPhone 7 is. I'm, I'm an Android person, so um, uh, because screen size is really what matters, then um, that's probably what they would stick with. But you might see iPhone 8 pop up there or, or iPhone X or, or some of the other newer phones if they have a, a vastly different screen size. Okay. So really, that's it. It's really pretty straightforward and simple. Um, yeah, the plus versions would be the ones that would have uh, the different different screen sizes, right? So it's a way for you if you if you have a page on Egg CMS, it's live, it's published, right? So you can go to it through um, egg.ndsu.edu something, yeah, anything after that, then you can take a look at this, uh, take a look on this uh, on this tool. If we want to get out of this, you know, we can really, we can just close it here. Um, and when I close it, I'm back in my desktop. And what you might notice is it's still kind of hanging on to that mobile theme. And I'm just going to refresh the page, hit F5 here. And then it's going to detect, oh, you're not on mobile anymore. This is, this is a desktop version. So it's going to deliver the desktop version to me. Okay. Um, I'll pull up Chrome real quick, just in case, you know, you're a heavy Chrome user. And you want to uh, want to know how that works on there? It's really very similar. So we're this is our the same site in Chrome now. When I right click anywhere on the screen, now instead of saying inspect element, it actually says inspect. You'll notice that all the developer stuff, that code that we are looking at, instead of being at the bottom like it was in Firefox, it's over here on the right. Um, but again, we're just looking for a little icon. And this time, the icon is right up here at the top where it says, and if you mouse over, it says toggle device toolbar. That's what you want to do. You click that, right? And then, um, actually, I had it turned on here, so that, that just turned it off. But let me turn it on again. And then you can see up here at the top, I've got some different, uh, different devices. Um, you can see right up there, it says iPad right now. We don't change the theme for iPad. Um, at this time, so on tablet size devices, um, people get, you know, the site just like it looks on desktop. Um, but you can see there's some other f uh, devices on here. And on this one on Chrome, Kim, you can see there's iPhone 8. So if you wanted to see that, you could just switch that. Um, like I said, I don't know what's going on with my Chrome. If I have a cookie save somewhere that I can't quite get rid of or what, um, the mobile. Uh, the mobile uh, theme is not activating here for me, but like I said, rest assured, Roger, Sonia, I think I've tested it. It works in Chrome as well. Uh, but either way, uh, 
you can you can access it that way. Uh, like I said, there's there's instructions for Firefox um, step by step. You know, it's really very short steps uh, in the AgCom Let's Communicate article uh, that I'm, I'll share it again just in case you came in late and you missed it uh, in the chat. Uh, so you can find the, the steps there. Um, but otherwise, that's all there is to it. The last thing I'll mention is that um, Sony and Roger and I have been talking, and Roger is working on some ways so that you can do this with pages in Ag CMS that you haven't published. So that way you could see it before you hit the publish button and get an idea of what that looks like. Um, yeah, I mentioned the, the idea of, of some tips for you. You know, when you, we take a look at these things in, uh, in the mobile view, I think the main thing to remember is that the mobile theme uh, prioritizes that content area. So if you're relying on uh, the right hand or left hand portlet column to get important information to people, you might want to rethink that um, because that might work great on desktop. But uh, in our mobile theme right now, we are highlighting that content area. So that content area uh, is the most important. Questions? I see Kim's typing, so I'll let her type. If you wanna, if you wanna open your microphone, feel free to do that too. Oh, good. I'm glad it was Kim. Thanks. All right. If there's thank no you. other questions, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Kim. Uh, I was just saying thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. If you uh, have other questions or you start testing this and and playing with it and you have some problems, you know, please let me know or or contact Sonia as well and we can uh, hopefully help you through that I just uh, hope that you'll you'll think about the you know um, going up towards 40 percent of people who are accessing our our content uh, through their mobile devices and think about their user experience and, and pay just as much attention to that as you do to the desktop view that is in your face all the time when you're uh, creating and editing in egg CMS uh, if there's no other questions, I'll s we'll wrap things up. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>